I haven't forgotten about my Xbox fans. Today we're gonna talk about how to properly clean your Xbox One S. So just like on the PS4 systems, the air intake on the S Xbox One S is along the sides, along the back, and along the other side. So anytime we're talking about cleaning the Xbox One S, you need to make sure that these sides stay clean and it's always gonna be better if you keep it up off the floor so it's not down near the dirt and the debris and the hair and that sort of thing. But if it is, or if you notice it's dirty, you can just use a brush similar to this and just go through and clean it off. And then it's always good to use like a vacuum to vacuum that off or use a can of canned air and blow it all off. And so it's totally clear from that area. So you wanna do that with the sides as well as the back because that is where the air intake is. Now you also probably notice that sometimes dirt will get built up on the top of your Xbox One S but most of the time it's actually on the top under the case. Sometimes you can see it on the top right here. And if that's the case, you just do the same thing. Use the brush to loosen it all and then use the canned air or vacuum to remove it from the console. And unfortunately, there's really not too much else you can do without disassembling the Xbox and voiding the warranty. So if you are okay with voiding the warranty or if it's out of warranty and you wanna clean it from the inside, I'll show you how to do that next. Now I do have a disassembly video for the Xbox One S. I will put a link up on the top of your screen so you can click on that if you need help removing the case from the Xbox One S. Once you get the case off, you're gonna have a system that looks similar to this. And once all the screws are out, then this top will just pop right off. Sometimes this will need cleaning because this metal actually uh, attracts hair and dirt as it'll get stuck to the metal itself. So this will likely need a good cleaning with a brush and canned air or a vacuum or something like that. And that will remove a lot of the dust from this metal. So after that's off, you can see that it's pretty packed tight in there. And as far as cleaning the motherboard and stuff like that, you're not gonna really be able to get a good cleaning with everything in here. So really the best thing to do is to remove all of this, the disk drive, the hard drive, and the power supply from the motherboard. That way you can really get in there and clean all the dust and dirt out of the motherboard. And before we go any further, you can also clean the top of the case as well. As you can see on this one, it's got a little bit of dirt down in here where the fan pushes the dirt up against. So you just take your brush and get it all loose, kind of like that. And then you use some of your canned air. I don't know if the camera catches it, but you can see the dust flying off of there. And that will get that fairly clean. You could get it cleaner if you use some isopropyl alcohol and a rag or a Q-tip or something, and that'd really get all the dust and debris off of there. But as you can see, that's done a pretty good job, just that little bit that I did right there. Now this is what the motherboard will look like once you get this out of your Xbox One S. And the thing to remember with this is the airflow goes under the heat sink right here and then the fan pulls it up and out of the Xbox. So to really get this heat sink clean, you're gonna need to remove it from the motherboard. Now the nice thing about this is you can actually look in there and see if yours is dirty. The fins, you can look right through and see whether the fins are dirty or not. If they're not dirty, then there's no reason to take it off and clean it. But if they are, you'll want to remove this. You can also see that in my disassembly video. You'll want to remove the heat sink so you can really get that clean. To clean the motherboard, all you're, all you're going to need to do is take your brush and you're just going to need to brush along anywhere there's dirt. You'll also want to make sure the ports are nice and clean and you can do that with the brush as well. And just go through and brush any dirt or hair or debris off of it and use your canned air or vacuum to really just get rid of all that loosened dirt and hair. And that will get your motherboard pretty clean. You can also take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol or even a small cleaning rag or something like that and clean it if you really need to on the front and the back. You wanna make sure that it's completely dry before you try and start it up. But with alcohol, it does evaporate very quickly, especially the more pure alcohol you can use. I use 99% as that'll evaporate really quickly and then it's nice and dry and ready to be started up. Now, if you have removed your heat sink, this is going to be what it looks like. So this is fairly easy cleaning. You just need to take a brush and brush out any dirt or hair or debris on the heat sink and that will get it nice and clean. You can blow some canned air 
or use a vacuum to suck up any dirt or debris from the heat sink. While you're here, you're also going to want to remove the old thermal paste with a Q-tip and clean off the heat sink and then apply new thermal paste. I re recommend Arctic Silver 5, although there's lots that work just fine. And I do have a link in the description if you need to purchase some of that thermal paste. So that's how you clean your Xbox One S. You can use a vacuum on it, you can use canned air, whatever you want. Some people say that don't use a vacuum because that'll cause electrostatic discharge and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. There's no problems using a vacuum. These motherboards are big enough. There's very few components on here that would be affected by any sort of static electricity that gets built up. So you don't have to worry about that. And you can safely use a vacuum or whatever you need to to get this fully cleaned. Thanks so much for watching my Xbox One S cleaning video. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. Please leave a like if you like this video and want to see more, and also consider subscribing if you like my content, as there's lots more to come.